NRL head of football Graham Ansley has admitted Parramatta halfback Mitchell Moses' uncalled forward pass in Friday night's preliminary final against North Queensland was an error. Moses threw a seemingly obvious forward pass to Isaiah Papali'i, who set up centre Will Penasini to burst through untouched and open proceedings with a sixth-minute try. Watch the video above, Mitchell Moses throws controversial forward pass. Watch the latest sport on Channel 7 or stream for free on 7 Plus the pass was let go by the referee, who was in perfect position and, given the bunker can't rule over forward passes, the try stood. That's gone a meter and a half forward. Rugby league legend Wally Lewis declared on Triple M at the time. That is a disgrace. An absolute disgrace. How could you miss it? He was standing virtually on a similar line. I mean, sometimes a ball can float forward and you think, well maybe the referees made a judgment. That was just like a bullet, it just went so forward. Controversially, that try proved the difference in the final score, as the Eels progressed through to this weekend's grand final with a thrilling 24-20 win over the Cowboys. On Monday afternoon, Ansley confirmed what Cowboys fans already knew. After reviewing the Moses pass, it does appear to be forward out of his hands, which is the only thing that matters under the laws of the game, he told reporters on Monday. It is marginal, but forward nonetheless. Ansley said the league had no current plans to arm the NRL bunker with forward pass technology for next year, but it is being discussed. We are still discussing forward pass technology with the companies, he said. There are a number of companies who have possible solutions but we are not near taking anything to the commission. There have already been strong calls for the bunker to be given the power to rule on forward passing. If we are going to use and spend millions of dollars on technology, use it for everything, or don't use it at all or just use it for try-scoring opportunities, commentator Scott Sattler said. We don't need chips and balls and extra expenses, they're going to spend another few hundred thousand or million dollars, we've got smart enough people in the game. If they feel as though they don't have enough people in the game that are smart enough to do that, we are searching in the wrong places. But speaking to reporters after the shattering preliminary final loss, Cowboys coach Todd Payton refused to blame the controversial decision for his side's loss. My first instinct was I thought it was forward but looking back on replay a couple of times, I thought it was pretty tight, he said. It happened early enough in the game to get over it. We went in 12 all at halftime and 20 to 12 after 55 minutes, so we moved on pretty well. And finally, Thank you all for watching the video. Please like and comment your opinion so we can discuss together. Don't forget to subscribe, press the bell to follow and update many other interesting news. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.